Hello and happy Fridays. Welcome to Fluke Fridays, episode number 32. Today what we're going to be going over is some fluke tools you can use to troubleshoot and fix your Christmas tree lights. I hope it's helpful and kind of a little different than our normal videos, but hopefully it'll be fun. So if you've waited too long to replace your um, lights and you got a half of a strand that goes out, how do you figure out which one to start replacing first? You can take a fluke volt pen just see if each bulb has electricity um, even if they're burnt out as long as the shunt is still good it should light up for you and beep you can see right here we lose it and the following ones will not light up well, that one lit up because it was close to the other ones but it wouldn't okay so I'm going to replace this one. I thought I'd take a break from the outside video to come in and show you guys how you can take a light off, a bad light off of a strand, and then replace it with a good light. So I'm using the smallest uh, slot or flathead screwdriver from Fluke, the ISL3S, and you can see I'm taking a good light bulb out of a bad string that I've already sacrificed and replacing it into the exact um, the little socket that I took out of this strand that I'm trying to repair the light in and so you just line up the little knobs with the holes or the little wires with the holes I'm gonna put them in and then bend them over now this is kind of a fancy strand that I have here that even when you remove the light bulb the lights stay on most of the time, half your strand will go out, and that's okay. Once you replace the light um, and put it back in there, then half the strand should light back up for you. We'll see that here in one second. As this light goes in, you will see that I have, in fact, repaired the light. And this is what it's going to look like if you want to repair this yourself. So two fluke tools you can use to fix it, both the bolt pins and the screwdriver. So I replace the bulb, plug it in. Now we see it does light up. Now we do have several lights that are burned, burnt out, and that's probably why the shunt failed is because I did not do a good job of replacing these other lights. I'm gonna make sure I do that this evening so that this strand will last through the rest of the Christmas season. Well, that's it. Thanks for joining today, guys. If you uh, have the similar problem, you can use either the Fluke 1AC-2 or the 2AC um, to solve this problem. Um, another way you can solve it is just keep up to date on your, or up to date, just keep up with your light replacements. If you replace your lights, a lot of times you're never going to have to try to find um, which one has the stuff broken in it. You'll be able to just replace that single light and move forward. But if you're lazy like me and you get in that pickle where you got half a string out and you can't figure out where to go, you don't want to replace 50 lights at a time, use something like this and it'll help you do it. I hope you guys have a great Christmas. Share with your friends if this is helpful. Thanks, and leave any questions in the comments below. Take care.